It was the one and only debate. First off, they only do one debate. Isn't that odd? I mean, such an important decision in a country of 80 million, the biggest economic power in Europe, and there's only one debate before the election? How, how does that come to pass? Well, there's, there's one debate between the two major contenders. And then there was another debate, and there will be another one for the smaller parties. But it seems that the TV stations tried to set up a second one, but that the chancellery said, no, there will only be one. Yes, so it, it, it basically limits a, a hugely important agenda to a very short time. And what, what happened yesterday is really that we saw that some of the major issues that, that are relevant for Germany were hardly discussed. Like if you take digitalization or the question of the future competitiveness of Germany, there was hardly any space. As we said earlier, a lot of time was devoted to foreign policy issues, which are crucially important because Germany is in the process of redefining its international role. It needs to take more responsibility. Many of the challenges we face internally have an external dimension, so this was all good. But as a consequence, um, there was too little time to discuss, um, for instance, economic issues, questions of competitiveness. And, and I think that's a, that's a pity because um, those are the topics, including uh, education um, and, and innovation, that interest people. And so, well, you know, and, many and, and, may and, go and, away and say they discuss stuff that, that's really not of interest And as Guy mentioned, they didn't really discuss too much about the deepening relationships in the EU as well. Guy, diesel was also an issue. Yeah, I'm, Daniela, what is it? Why is diesel such a big issue and all those other issues aren't? I, why is it that diesel stands out? Well, the, the diesel issue obviously is, is a big scandal. Um, so it has hit the news over the past month on a regular basis. There obviously is a transatlantic dimension to it. There is a European dimension to it. So it is a highly complex issue for the government at the moment to handle. It has a deep domestic dimension. How do you deal with, with customers of the car companies? How do you deal with municipalities who think about banning diesel cars? So, so there is, I mean, it's a multidimensional issue which is very tricky. And the interesting thing to see was that during last night's debate, um, Candidate Schulz seized that issue to really attack Merkel. He tried it several times on other issues as well. Um, but there he, he put his foot down and said, you didn't handle the crisis quickly enough and well enough. And why is this so? Why is it so important? Not only because of the crisis aspect, but because German car, uh, the German car industry is hugely important. Um, Merkel said it in her answer. She said, we are an export country. The car industry is a key pillar of our economic system. And a lot of jobs depend on uh, car production That's in right. Germany. 800,000. Uh, we found, I think, one in five or even one in four jobs in Germany are at least related to the auto industry.